In this video, I wanted to share with you how I'm using the analytics in Edpuzzle. I'm really loving being able to leave all feedback right in Edpuzzle directly without having to go back and forth between Edpuzzle and my LMS. So the first thing that I usually do is just go into the progress tab and then I will either sort by student name so that I can see whether or not the student watched the video and then I transfer that grade over to my actual grade book based just on completion. So here you can see the student watched 100%. Here it gives a red X signaling that they did not finish the video and if I hover over I can see they only watched 10% of the video. If I actually click on that student's name I can see that they only watched the first 52 seconds seconds and that they did answer one question but that question was incorrect. You can see that these are still white because the student hasn't answered that question yet. If I hover over this one I can see the student watched 70% of the video and I can see that they watched all the way up to the six minute mark and I can see which questions they have answered also. That would be how I would sort by name. A lot of times I also just sort by if they watched it or if they didn't watch it. So I just look at all the students who did not watch the video and then I go back and I give them an incomplete mark in my actual grade book and then I just fill all the rest of the students with perfect for completion because I just grade on completion. In this view, you can also go to the questions tab. This will order the questions by the most incorrect to the most correct. So the first question that comes up is the one that most students struggled on. So this is supposed to help you identify which questions you need to go over in the classroom. If I actually click on that one, it will just show the answers to that particular question. The next thing that I wanted to show is this in classroom tab, which I think is really cool. If I go to the students in the in classroom tab, I'm gonna just sort by watched. It actually updates in real time. You can see as the students are watching the video and that's why it's called in classroom because that's supposed to help inform you when you're in the classroom to see how things are going for the student. But it's also a pretty nice view to look at even if you wanna review this progress from home and see how the students were doing. It's a pretty nice view. I can see a very nice visual of how much students watch. So this student completed the whole video. This student still has the end to watch here. The green marks which questions the student got correct and the red is what they got incorrect. If you see this gray portion, that means that these questions have still been ungraded. So why would a question be ungraded? If you were giving short answer type responses, Edpuzzle cannot grade that automatically. You as a teacher have to go in and grade. And so that brings me to my next point. Something that I'm really, really loving is this ability to grade by question. You know, if you click on the student's name, you can go in and you can grade all their responses and you can go to the next student and grade all of theirs. But I find that this takes a good amount of time because I go by student, I look at each question. Versus if I go back and I press this grade button, that gives me this quick grade option. And this really saves me so much time because I just grade by question instead of by student. So when I go by question, it makes grading super quick because what I do is first of all, I write out the correct response somewhere and I just copy that into my clipboard. And then the ones that are correct, I just go through quickly and I check the ones that are correct. If it's incorrect or if it's not really complete, I just hit that comment bubble and then I paste in the correct answer that I had written and I will exit as incorrect. And so this is just a really quick way to just go through all of them and grade them. And so you can see that they are green if they are correct and they are red if they are incorrect. And I can just go through and grade them really quickly. So how I found that was right here. I just clicked on this grade button there. Now let me just show you what it looks like from the student view. So as a student, once I've watched the video, I can click on this progress button here and I can see all the green ones are what I got correct. If it's white, my teacher hasn't graded it yet or I didn't do that question. And if it's red, I got it incorrect. If my teacher left me a comment, I just click on that comment bubble and I'll see the note that my teacher left me. Now, 
it's really important if you are leaving feedback in Edpuzzle that you either make an assignment that students have to go back and review their progress for some reason or just give a little bit of time at the beginning of class for students to go in and review their progress. What I've been doing is actually while I'm taking attendance, students are on their computer and they're looking at their progress in Edpuzzle because it really only takes one or two minutes to do that. So those are some of the key analytics that I've been using in Edpuzzle so far and I hope you find that helpful.